Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Snap layouts in Windows 11 build 25300, the latest build from the dev channel. Well, what you need to note is that Microsoft released some new variants of the Snap layouts. And in this video, I'm going to show you each and every layout, how it looks, how it can be enabled and so on. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different hidden features that you can enable in Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. As always, first of all, we're going to set up Vive Tool so you can download Vive Tool from the download link in the article below in the video description. Make sure to download the latest version.zip. Next up, open it up using File Explorer. Click on Extract All. Click on Browse and extract it into the System32 location in this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to Locate System32. Select it. Click on Select Folder. Extract. Click on Continue. And Vive Tool should be set up after you copy these files. Now you can just open up the search box and type in here CMD, click on run as administrator to run as, as administrator of course, and as your account control, click on yes. As I've said, there are multiple variants to the snap layouts, and I think there are four in total if we are not including the no variant option, which will only show a snap this window title at the top and nothing else as I've showed you in the video in which I talked about the build 25300. And in this video, I'm going to show all the other four variants, one, two, three, and four, and we're going to see how they look. So we're going to run this command first, vive tool slash enable slash id slash variant one, and we should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. A big shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for discovering these variants for the snap layouts. Make sure to follow him from the Twitter link in the pinned comment below. After we've enabled the first variant, we're just gonna restart the computer for the changes to take effect and see how this would look. Now after the restart, we can open up any app, but for this video's purpose, I'm just gonna open up File Explorer. And as you know, the snap layout appear whenever you are hovering over the maximize button on the title bar of a certain app. Well, the first variant shows no snap this window title, but opens on hover quicker because as you saw from the Microsoft notes about this new snap layouts feature is that they're also trying different ways of opening this hover faster. In my opinion, it is faster, but not quite significantly. I would expect it to open instantly. I would like that better, but still, I think this is pretty decent. Now let's close this out and open up the CMD yet again as administrator to enable the second variant and then show it to you how that looks. We are running basically the same command with only the second variant enabled. As I've said, all of these commands will be in the article below in the video's description. And once you see the message successfully set feature configuration, you can exit out from CMD and yet again restart the computer for the changes to take effect. Now after the restart, we've opened up File Explorer yet again. And this new variant, as you saw, it opens up a bit slower. We also have the snap this window title at the top and we also get app icon in the snap layouts position. Of course, if we were to click on that, it will snap our window into that position. This is how snap layouts work. I think this is a more interesting variant. We have this title, we have the app icon. I think this is pretty, pretty nice. I would expect maybe a small little animation here in the future from Microsoft. It looks pretty rough at the moment, as you can see, but I think this is pretty cool. Now we've opened up CMD as administrator yet again. We're gonna run the third variant and the third variant, I think it's the best from all of them because this is a mixture of variant 2 and variant 1. It also shows the title, app icon, and also opens the hover quicker. I think this is pretty cool. Let's restart and see how this looks. Now, after the restart, we're going to see that the hover opens up quicker. We have also the snap this window title and also the app icon. I think this is pretty cool. And as I've said, the third variant, I think it could be the best one from all of them. And just for this video's purpose, I'm also going to show you the fourth variant, which is basically the same as the default variant, but opens the hover quicker. I'm just going to quickly restart and show it to you. And this is the fourth variant. As I've said, we have the title and also the opening of the hover, which is faster. As I've said, if you ask me, the third variant could be the best because it has all of them combined, the title, the app icon, and also the quicker hover opening, which I think is great. Don't forget that a download link for Vive tool, the commands used in this video, and also the Twitter link for Phantom Motion will be in the article and in the pinned comment, respectively. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.